Okay. Hey, Rizzy, I see you. What's going on? Tonight, we're going to get started on a PlayStation 2 classic. Jack and Dax to the Precursor Legacy. This is before Naughty Dog started getting all realistic and shit. And it came fresh off the heels of the success of Crash Bandicoot. But enough about that. Let's get started. practice file. As you can see, I killed that shit. We gonna overwrite that shit. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. That's right. Who were the precursors? How oh, no. Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Not the rocks, bitch! Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Jack, all green stuff told us not to come here. Yeah, you know it's a fucked up situation when even the rocks don't remember shit. Alright, we'll be waiting. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. He looked and sound like he just on life support. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crap? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Help! He thought he was doing something. Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And then. And Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? 
There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. Okay. Blue Eco 
Go. You can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have made dormant for years. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. My question is, why the hell did they wait to the end of the level to tell me that? You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Once again, why did they wait to the end of the level to tell me that? to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the maps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Wait, what did you want me to do again? Some brave adventurers you two are. Back already and without clearing my block eco-harvesters. I never left. They're on the far side of the beach, boys. Now, get moving! Hey, Manny, what do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. I played this game back, well, let me think, back in 2003. I'm gonna tell you how stupid I was as a kid. I knew getting into this game that it was made by the same people that made Crash. And you know it's got little warp gates and shit, so I'm thinking it functions the same way. I went a few years without playing. When I got back into playing it again a few years later, it was only then that I realized I could go out the front door. And I felt like a jackass. Looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. See them? See how they're not moving? Yep. That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. Boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, you're funny. Now look, 
If you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor awards. Modest my ass. Some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flat flat near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. I find it really fucking funny that nobody has asked any questions about the talking ferret on my shoulder nobody seems to give a damn what happened to the little red haired boy it's like oh he, he's just gone it's whatever Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get them back into the corral? All right. All right. Get your ass back in the pen. you going Mother oh, you playing games get your ass in the pen Wow you next you know, you know, because your buddy was playing games, I'm gonna hit you harder. By the way, uh huh, uh huh. We got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Thanks, Grandpa.
Oh, hell. Wow! Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there. Here we go. Yeah, I've been over here. Shit. Yeah, we gotta bring the crush on the door. We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already! Nah, they not up here. Fuck it, I'm already here. <laughs> Patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. And now they're gobbling up my catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. Just want to try the challenge. That's why I'm here, bud. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. <laughs> if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Steady, boy. Here comes a big one! Normal circumstances. 
I would legit just just throw this file away and start over. Steady boy. Here comes the big one. Stop being greedy. Looks like you can use a bigger net. Shut up. I'm doing better than you. Here comes a big one. You missed a jump. Ah, oh, for real, that's what we doing. Hold steady. Son of a bitch. Wow. Here comes a big one. Okay, at this point, there's no excuse. There is no fucking excuse. Sad thing is, I did that shit beautifully on the practice file last night. should it's it's fantastic
Okay. That's fine. None of that shit. Those power doohickeys scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with them. Line up the beam by pointing it at the next tower. Hey, we can follow the beam to find the next tower. I don't need that fucking beam. I'm a grown man.
I literally just did this shit last night. How the fuck? Fuck it. need the beam no more. What's up, Brother Suave? I was gonna finish Max Payne, possibly, but I decided I didn't want to, you know, embarrass myself on my birthday to a huge degree. So, yeah.
You found all the scout flies in this area. <laughs> Thank you, McJackums. Goddamn right I have. So 
Uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. Uh, a sizable one, I hope. You! <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Most inopportune moment. Uh, I was to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs? So he can get underway, I will offer you a power cell in return. This man say miserably ugly. I see you two are back to make the train. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye. Hard-earned? Motherfucker, I found one in the middle of a path. Talk about some hard earn. But um but yeah, see, he, he had the uncle good too. So you know good good for him. Ain't no games out here. Alright! Trigger! Come on, come on. Fine. I'll just kill him. Thank you, Misha. Okay. 
Give me a minute. Fuck. TV, you gotta find simple shit to do to give you joy like it.
see. Yeah, y'all remember that smug motherfucker over there, right? Well, you're supposed to smack him and then race him back to the power cell. But there's two ways you can get it back from him. There's that way, and then there's the satisfying way. Let me see. Okay, aim a little bit. Let me see. Get some! Get some! <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Fuck you, fuck you.
Let's see if I can remember where them shits is at. good and fine, but I'm not done yet. Thank you. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. Trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz! I'm gonna miss something. Okay. I forgot to do something. enough power cells 
to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. <laughs> For a moment, you were my muse. Yar, what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. How? Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? How the fuck does she get over there? That's animal abuse. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. Hey, what's up, Brent? Thank you. Trying to figure out how the hell that thing got out here. From what I can tell, it can't fly. Ooh, this place gives me the creeps. And trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in flies. Oh, my day was good. It was pretty good. Oh yeah, Brent's got some great emotes and um little sound alerts. Yeah! 
Don't fall into the mist below us! Cause I don't think we'll make it back! Plays a Sonic Adventure 2 randomizer every Friday. 
like it's a blast to watch. You big bitch! He has to um he has to adapt to our bullshit. But that's fine because um I adapt to the adaptations. Or the adaptions, I don't know. I adapt to him adapting, let's just say that. before I started and besides this is a low budget stream I ain't got that shit yet I ain't got the sound alerts and stuff like everybody else Bitch, I see you.
missed all them shits. And I did it because that was the plan. I tried so hard to save that. Whatever. That's why I'm 
run. Yep. Let's see, and then there's one more. Okay. I think they got like four different dances and poses. Right now, I have to drop off an animal. Oh, my muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. I think he's on that ship. He's lucky I don't call cops on his ass. How the fuck did that thing get all the way out there? I'll tell you how. Animal abuse. Damn, it's been an hour and a half so far. See, I did that to test y'all. To test y'all's memory. It fucks with me. Not sure. Let me I forgot what his name this was. This must be a precursor oracle like the sage always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. I was legit finna press the circle button again. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. Missy. From before time, I have watched and waited. For the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. For your gift, another power cell is yours. You have proven 
yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. Thirty-four. They're going to be excited about it four more times, too. Wow, that crunch. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees. So try to keep it cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Yeah, you said something about um the genie. His name is Michael Gollum. He was in Aladdin back in Try, let's go. Whoa! I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Watch Jack. Look at him. Look closely. Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, then come back and give us an update. 
and take the fur ball with you. Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. Of particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agrav Zoomer to the nearest Transman. Hide the Zoomer to a green eco-vent, and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant, or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. And Daxter, start cleaning up in here! And don't forget the corners! Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of um, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. Supplies. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We can. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? That's fair. I'm not gonna do that shit yet. of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. 
Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stun on failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton bolt, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. <laughs> so, our sage, a master of blue ego, and a mechanical genius devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. He's so extra. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But um, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Bro, we're not asking you to. We don't need you to. I lost my shorts on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That way you pretty much tagged me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet on mine. My big comeback. Beat the record time, race your dead man's gorge in the precursor basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. But that... I'll give you another power cell. Okay. Oh, of course. What are you I'm, for that? I'm not swimming across. I'm not swimming across all that shit.
welcome. Dog eco boxes are bad news. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. Avoid the dog eco boxes, motherfucker. Better time to heal the plants than right now.
Good night, Misha. Thank you for coming. Damn death perception. Good night, Brent. Thanks for coming.
blue rings. is it? Quick! You've got to fly through each ring before they turn off! Wow, that was ass. That was cool. Wow. Yep, um, I love these.
you for saving those moles. That's awfully good of you. I know. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to end it for tonight. Thank you everybody that came out. I appreciate it. I hope y'all have a good, you know, good rest of your night. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Oh, and thank you.